I'm still worried. I'm still scared. Shawnee Stewart told KCRA 3 what she went through Tuesday is something she'll never forget. I looked in the rearview mirror and that's when I noticed that the, the, the police officers had it, their guns out. They had them aimed towards the car. It turned out when police stopped her car on the Capital City Freeway, they had made a mistake. No leader in any organization, you know, wants to hear that mistakes have been made. Talking only to KCRA 3, Sacramento Police Chief Kathy Lester says she wants to know everything that led up to the traffic stop. Certainly the community and our mom that is involved in this absolutely have the right and should be asking that. You know, we have the same questions. Police say they were on the lookout for a teen known to carry a gun and with two felony warrants. They thought they saw the teen get into the car and pulled it over a few minutes later. What I can say is that, you know, we know the officers really weren't able to see in the car. As soon as they were able to see in the car, they recognized that this was not the person that they were looking for. Stewart told us the traffic stop lasted several minutes, and the worst part was hearing the sounds coming from her eight year old. Well, 10 minutes is still a long time. The fear of him, like I said, getting out the car and crying and screaming. Lester, a mom herself, hates the thought of what the boy and his mom went through. She says her officers repeatedly apologized. I really appreciate the officers for recognizing that this was a case of mistaken identity. I know that that was not their intent, you know, from what we saw. And so, um, while I can say that, that still doesn't bring peace to a mom who's been involved in this. One of Lester's captains called Stewart last night to repeat how sorry the the department was. Now they want to make things right. In Sacramento, Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. Uh, the chief telling us that the department has offered to have Shani Stewart come down to headquarters to meet with police so they could show her body camera video. Stewart says that she wants to discuss getting some support or counseling for her son, who she says is still dealing with the stress of that stop.